Good afternoon, Scorpions. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been a long time. I It's been like six months. I did the math today. <laughs> I really, I had so much stuff that was going on and I had so many things in my life at the time. And I just really had to like leave and go and work on stuff. But things have stabilized. Um, everything that I was going through like worked itself out, don't they always? And I've really been guided to like come back and do my channel since I'm more balanced now and um, I have more clarity. I feel like I'm more connected um, spiritually now. So I'm really ready to um, put my gifts into effect. I'm going to be doing the Zodiac readings every two weeks. I'm not going to try to do it every week like I was before because that absolutely killed me. Um, and y'all know I am a Scorpio too, so this is my reading as well. I am going to be using uh, the Sex Magic Tarot deck, which I'm just now getting used to, but I really, really love this. Um, with the Sex Magic Tarot, it's pretty much going to be a love reading which I'm sure you guys don't mind. So with that being said, can I get some cards for Scorpio? Wow. That was interesting. I've not gotten that one yet. And I do not do reversals and my spirit team knows that. So with that being said, I'm going to pull the tarot cards and then I'm going to pull the um, oracle cards too. Wow. To clarify, I need more room here. And then I'm using the energy oracle deck. These are some interesting cards. I'm anxious to get started on. Ooh. And then these are my vampire oracle cards, which has too many. And I haven't got to shuffle it yet. I just did uh, Sagittarius before I did this one. So I want to make sure I shuffle them real good. And then these are my Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle cards. I'm going to start getting some more cards, especially since I'm going to start doing readings again. I'm really, really excited about getting back into it. As a reintroductory offer, um, I do take PayPal and cash out for personal readings and I'm going to charge 25 for now to like kind of get my feet wet, get back into the game again. And then they may go up. So now is a great time to get a personal reading. Come on, give me a card. My son is coming in. I'm doing a reading video. Oops. All right, this is the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify. I was trying to get these done while I was home alone. Too many. These are my fairy cards.
and I'm going to draw a Romance Angel card for this um, Knave of Chalices, which is the cups. The chalices and the cups are the same thing. But in this particular deck, it's chalices. Sorry, my dogs are being really noisy. He just let them out of the room. All right, I need a Romance Angel card. Oops. And I'm not going to take those. It's too many. I'm going to take this one. All right, so the first card that we have is Strength. So, Scorpio, I am showing that you have really stepped into your power. I know I have over the past six months. Really stepped into your power. Um, really um, learned how to love yourself, how to set healthy boundaries with others, um, how to say no. Um, I'm getting for some of you that, you know, you might have had some challenges as far as um, maybe, maybe meeting some people who challenged you to um, really look at different parts of yourself that you didn't know were there. Maybe different patterns that you were stuck in um, and really taking back your power from these situations and really finding your own strength. I'm getting for some of you that you might even have had soul contracts with people that had to be fulfilled. You know, before we incarnate here, we're with our soul family and we decide what type of experiences we want to experience um, when we incarnate in this particular lifetime as well. You know, like what is it that we want to experience because we are the universe experiencing itself in physical form. And so um, members of our soul family will step up and they will be like, okay, you know, we will play this role with you. We will play this part with you. We will, um, because, you know, your whole reality is nothing but one big simulation based on the thoughts and the beliefs that you have. And so I'm getting for some of you that some of these uh, soul contracts with others have been fulfilled. Um, people come into our lives for a reason, you know, so if you've been dealing with someone lately who maybe has challenged you or um, in some kind of ways, maybe even um, triggered some fears that you didn't even know that you had, that is this person's purpose to get you to look at that. And so um, am I saying this is a bad connection or a toxic connection that you've been in? No. But what I am feeling like is that maybe this is someone who you might have attached yourself to because maybe you were feeling lonely or maybe uh, you were on the rebound from another situation. Um, but all is not lost because this person did come into your life for a reason. And you could continue to have a relationship with this person because this person is helping you to learn and grow. But what I'm getting is that there is someone else that's coming into your life that maybe even someone is returning from the past and that you are going to have to make a decision. That is the energy that I'm getting with these two cards right here. Um, we have the four of swords and this, whenever I get this card is very interesting and understand these are a sex tarot cards, a sex magic tarot. I'll show you the picture. It's very freaky. Whatever they're doing is very, very freaky. Um, but once again, I feel like this is this new person, this new connection that, you know, you might have started within like the past few months or so. And that this person has shown you things that no one else has shown. Maybe made you feel things that no one else has made you feel. And really helped to take your mind off of past pain and past hurt. That is the energy that I'm getting with this card. But that you want to be really careful because the message coming through from Spirit is to make sure that you do not get attached or dependent upon this person. Or you will end up in the same type of situation that you walked away from before. 
because we don't want to give away our power to other people because I'm sensing that this is becoming um, more of a dependent type situation. See how she seems like she's kind of dependent upon him. So make sure you worked really hard and fought really hard to step into your power. So make sure that you stay there. Make sure that all of the lessons that you've learned from everything that you've been through, that you are applying them and that you're not just um, falling back into old patterns. Because to clarify this, we have the victory card. Sorry, I dropped a card. So I am showing that this is, um, this is a time of victory for you because everything that you've been trying to attract into your life or that you've been focused on manifesting, they're on their way. And that I really feel very strongly that someone is returning from the past and that you're going to be faced with, sorry, the sun is shining in, it's really bright. You're going to be faced with a decision. Do you want to stay in this particular situation here? Because the contract's actually been fulfilled. Everything that this person came to teach you, you have learned. But the final lesson could actually be in actually detaching. Actually making that decision about what you want and sticking to it and not being scared um, to go in the direction of that your heart and your soul are guiding you. That message came through for someone because we also have the action card. So you're going to be called upon to take action. The universe is going to ask you to take action. Do I stay or do I go? Do I take a chance? Can I trust this? What is it that I really want? And it's going to require a lot of soul searching. And that can be really scary, you know, because sometimes we want to stick with something that's safe, something that we know, even if we know that something's missing, it's not quite what we want, but we feel safe. We feel safe. This person makes us feel safe. But is that necessarily love? Is there a lot of passion in that? Or is this your safety blanket, your security blanket? We have the Knave of Swords. And then once again, another very interesting card. And the energy that I'm getting with this is once again that safety. That safety of knowing someone just absolutely adores us. They're not going anywhere. Basically, we have them the way that we wanted this person from the past to be over us. But the person from the past, this other person who's going to be coming back, did not kiss our ass like this. But you need to ask yourself, is this really what you want? Or do you want somebody who's going to challenge you? That there's going to be more passion involved. I mean, what if, you know, this victory, this person who you lost or you walked away from from your past, their soul contracts are complete too. And they are free to be with you. They're going to come towards you. But now you're in this energy where you've got someone who you're really dependent upon because they've made you feel so safe. It's like they were their, your savior. And they kiss your ass. Do you really want to pass up an opportunity just to stay in a place where maybe you will be stagnant and you won't have the growth that your soul desires for you to have. Um, but your fears have you bound there. So you really need to check in with yourself because this person is coming. 
trust, we have faith, trust, unwavering confidence. This involves really, really trusting in the universe to know that it has your back and that what is coming towards you is truly for you. Um, don't be scared to lose this. Maybe this is not for you. We cannot lose what is ours by divine right. So if you lose something, it's because it wasn't yours to begin with. So stop trying to hold on to something out of fear. Have faith and trust and believe that what is truly for you is on the way and that you can trust it. It's mutual. It's safe. And it's mutual. And it's beautiful. And it's coming. And you need to decide what you want. We have the moon card. And the moon is all about fears. It's all about um, the illusions. See, fears are not real. They seem very real to us at the time. And the reason why fears are not real is because they are part of our human conditioning, our ego mind. The soul knows no fears. So basically anything that's from your mind, that's from your ego, from the ego monkey mind is not real because you can create whatever you want by what you believe to be true. So all you have to do is change your belief system and clear out these fears because I'm really getting very strongly that the, yes, this person came into your life and yes, they helped you. You know, I'm getting that this is a rebound situation for some. Yes, they really helped you. Maybe they helped you get over this other person, but now you're scared to lose them because of the safety and the security that they gave you. And so once again, you're in like um, this sort of codependent relationship with this person, scared to let go. And you have fought too hard to step into your power to give it away now. You need to really step into your power and realize more than anything, you don't need anybody but yourself anyway. Because not needing anything is the magical energy to attract everything. It will make you so magnetic. It's such an attractive quality. But you're going to have to check in with yourself. Really be honest with yourself. And make sure that you are not choosing this new person out of fears. And maybe for some of you, maybe it's a sense of um, not wanting to hurt them because they've been there for you. And so it's almost like a sense of obligation. But it's a very codependent um, connection relationship. You know, and for some of you, it might have been really exciting at first. And then, you know, you started to kind of maybe doubt that, you know, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe, you know, something's missing here. We're not in complete alignment. I'm not completely satisfied here, but yet at the same time, I'm too scared to leave. So I don't want to go back to being alone again. That, that message is for somebody. Um, blame my gypsy soul. For some of you, you might be getting restless. And the reason why you're getting restless is because you know that this isn't for you. Maybe something's missing. Maybe the passion's missing. Maybe um, there's not an emotional connection like you desire. And for Scorpio, that's everything. That is everything to have that emotional connection and not something that's just um, surface deep. I got that message for someone. So maybe you're feeling like you just, you know, you're ready to go. But at the same time, you just can't let go because you're attached. But the message that's coming through is that you are going to have to decide because what it is that you have been focused on manifesting forever now is trying to come to you. But you're stuck in this situation here that's not completely fulfilling. 
but you're too scared to let go. So you really need to check in with yourself. That is the guidance that's coming through right now. Eight of Pentacles. Once again, see how she just does not seem completely satisfied? I mean, he is, but she isn't. She almost looks like she wishes she was somewhere else. See? This energy. She wishes she were somewhere else. She wishes she were free to be with who she wants to be with. It's almost like a love triangle type situation. You know, what I'm getting is, is that, you know, maybe, you know, you walked away from someone who you still have very strong feelings for, ran into somebody else, you know, you're in this love affair now that is kind of slowly kind of dwindling out. It's not what it once was. And this other person's returned and now you don't know what to do. Once again, your fears and your sense of obligation have you stuck. So you really need to check in with yourself, clear these fears, and really check in with your true self, not your self, your ego mind that's fear-based, but your true self and find your, your true soul's desire so that you can follow it. Because to clarify that card, we have walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. It doesn't get any more clear than that. And see, she's almost in the same energy as this one. Doesn't that look like the same energy? My dog is making all kinds of noise. I apologize. Um, Knave of Chalices, which is basically the Knight of Cups. Basically, the energy that I'm getting with this is that this person that you walked away from in the past, they are coming, and they are coming very, very quickly. I'm getting that they might be watching you on social media. Um, it's just like they're just going crazy right now because they know that you've moved on. You're with somebody else. Um... And to be honest with you, initially, this is what got their attention because they never thought you would walk away. They never thought you would leave ever. And you did because you stepped into your power. You took back your power. But don't let this new situation take your power from you. This person wants you. They're wanting to come forward. But your fears... And your complaints, complacency right now is what's keeping them away because you don't know what you want. And in order for the universe to deliver to you what you want, you have to know what you want and send that signal out there. But you have to choose from a place that's not fear-based. Like, don't just choose to stay in this particular situation because it's safe. And don't choose to not be with this person because they've hurt you in the past because they have changed. They're not the same. You walking away from them changed them. It changed them. They're not the same person. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. These feelings that you have for this person still are very, very real. Do you want to deny them? Do you want to have those regrets the rest of your life? You've got to do what's best for you. And this means setting your fears aside. And the other message that's coming through is don't listen to other people because you will get bad advice. Other people can only give you advice um, from their perspective, from their experiences, from their conditioning. 
they don't know your situation like you do. Only you and this person here know the love that you have between you. So even if you have to take a break, take a break from this person so that you can figure out what you want and have the freedom. When I think about Gypsy, I think about freedom. Have the freedom so that you can explore your feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that is the message that's coming through um, right now for you, Scorpio. I'm going to be doing these readings every two weeks. I'm not going to try to kill myself, do them every week like I was doing them. Um, but every two weeks, I'm going to knock out the signs, get them all done. Um, so do watch for that. I do take PayPal and I do take um, Cash App. And I will include in the description of the video my information. And thank you for watching today.